Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hi there everyone and welcome back to another lesson. In this lesson, we're going to learn how we can use ChatGPT to describe a VBA script for us, which we can use to convert active Excel worksheets into PDF. Right over here, I have prompted ChatGPT4 with a prompt which says, could you provide a VBA script that prompts the user to select a location and file name for saving the active worksheet as PDF? and then export the worksheet as a PDF to selected location. So right over here, we have a VBA code which we can copy and we can add it into our module in the worksheet in order to convert it into PDF. So the very first thing is opening up the module in the Excel worksheet. For doing that, we're going to go to the sample worksheet. Right over here, I have the sales order worksheet. So we're going to press Alt. F11. Alt F11 is the shortcut key for opening up the VBA, which is Visual Basics for Applications. Once it's open, I'll go to Insert, add a module, and inside this module, I'm going to paste this whole script, which is VBA. I'm going to copy the code from here, go back to my Excel file, to the VBA module opened, click on Control V and it's pasted. Once it's done, you simply need to click on Control S in order to save it. Once this is done, you cross this whole tab, press Alt F8 in order to run your specific function. So I click on Alt F8. The macro comes up which says convert to PDF. So I run it and it asks me where do I want the location of that certain sheet to occur. Right now, I want it to be on desktop, so I'm going to name it Tester1. The type you can see is PDF files, click on save, and the job is done. Let's see if our desktop really has the certain file. It's right here. So all the data which we had in Excel sheet, which was active at the moment, is converted into PDF, and the document is right in front of you in a few steps. So this is how you can use ChatGPT amazingly it is something that is very, very compatible for any sort of user, whether you're a businessman, a project manager, or whatever. So that's how we can use ChatGPT in order to work for Excel. See you in the next lesson. Thank you very much. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And Click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.